and Irish eyes will be smiling on Boston heavyweight Peter McNeely. This third generation boxer will be featured in a 10 round bout. It's all coming to you on St. Patrick's Day, live from the Worcester Memorial Auditorium on Showtime Championship Boxing. And this evening, we are live from the Worcester Memorial Auditorium, affectionately known as the odd and intimate setting. Capacity about 3,000. The fans can practically reach out and touch the fighters from the close balcony. This hall oozing with charm, character, and history. It was built back in 1933. And an interesting undercard that included a local favorite, an up-and-coming heavyweight who hails from nearby Medfield, mashed by the name of Peter McNeely quite fitting on this St. Patrick's Day. McNeely following the footsteps of his father and grandfather. His grandpa was on the 1928 U.S. Olympic boxing team. His dad fought Floyd Patterson for the heavyweight title in 1961. As you might expect, McNeely is very proud of his family tradition. 1928, uh, the fighting Irish McNeely family started its quest for a dream. My grandfather, Tom McNeely Sr., fought on the uh, 1928 Olympic team. And he fought on the first fight card at Boston Garden in 1928. And when he retired, he brought my dad up a boxer. My dad rose to the heavyweight championship of the world in 1961. He fought Floyd Patterson, knocked him down, made the cover of Sports Illustrated. And I think that's when the dream began for me. When I was about seven years old, I went up the attic, found the magazines. And uh, I, from that day, I knew exactly what I wanted to be in life. And um, I think it's only fitting that on St. Patrick's Day this year, I'm going to make my opponent kissed the Blarney Stone. And McNeely living up to his word. Earlier tonight, McNeely squared off with Danny Lee Wofford. Word is, McNeely using this fight as a tune-up to a proposed bout with former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson at Foxborough Stadium this coming summer. That is sheer speculation. And this, this was one that was over at the weigh-in. Here was round one in about that was clearly miscast. McNeely having his way, pummeling the overmatched and overweight Wofford almost at will. Wofford, although a woeful 14, 40, and two going in, known for at least going the distance. In fact, in 14 straight defeats, he heard the final bell. But this, a match that will not go into the boxing archives. McNeely didn't waste much time in putting Wofford on the canvas. He stayed down until the count of nine. He got up. Then after the referee interceded, McNeely went right back to work. No contest. Now, in the corner after round one, Wofford claimed he could not see out of his left eye, did not answer the bell for round two. The official word, McNeely by TKO in the second. McNeely goes to 35 and 1, 29 knockouts. Here's a guy who is joining the long list of hopefuls to fight Mike Tyson, but no way to really measure McNeely against a fighter like Wofford. 